What's going on guys? I hope you all have been doing well. I wanted to talk a little bit about range, duty, slash competition belts. Now I reached out to Blue Alpha Gear recently and they were nice enough to send me one of their new Molly duty belts. Now this belt I've been running for about two months now, doing different drills, trying different gear on it, and it's turned out just to be great. It's a Molly style belt, not your traditional loop slide through belt. And you can get an underbelt from them as well that pairs up very nicely with the interior Velcro on this to stay secure to your waistline. Anybody out there that's ever had to carry a gun belt for duty knows that traditional style duty belts where you have to take everything off, line things up on there. If you mess up one piece, you gotta take all that stuff back off, loop it back on, kind of sucks. And that's what a lot of us started out with back in the day in the military or law enforcement or any kind of duty use. Competition guys went to a straight Velcro belt so they could loop things around and move them interchangeably several years back. And then obviously the military went into the more Molly stuff kind of right around like 2001, 2002, it got really, really big. Now Blue Alpha has put out a ton of products over the years that have just been really high quality. I own several of their belts now and I've had zero issues. The Molly uh, stuff is really good because you can change from pouch to pouch, from magazine holster to magazine holster. It does not matter. As long as it's Molly or even traditional belt loop style, it will fit on this belt. So we're gonna check this thing out up close and then I'll give you my overall opinion of if I would spend my money on this because they did send me this one for free. We'll talk about some of that range footage and some of the gear that's on this belt right now that I'll do reviews on at a later time. So let's get into this thing and check it out. Here's that Blue Alpha Molly belt. And this thing has turned out just to be great. This is the typical quality that you would expect from Blue Alpha gear if you've owned any of their products over the past several years. As you can see, this one is set up for Molly style attachment, but will take traditional belt style holster um, pouches, anything that you can fit on there. Currently, this is a Safari Land low rise with a Safari Land QLS system. And then I have uh, some S-Tac Kaiwi pistol pouches and magazine uh, pouch for an AR here. And then a 10-8 performance uh, pouch for a tourniquet right there. Overall, this thing is built like a tank. It's got your standard sized Cobra buckle right here. Very high quality and uh, definitely not gonna break on you anytime in the near future unless you abuse it with probably a hammer. So the female portion of the buckle is your traditional style where the belt is woven around and then it is double thick throughout the belt all the way around until you get to where the male portion ties in. And this is where you have all of your adjustment with a very nice bungee loop to take up all the excess webbing. You've got a solid 10 inches of adjustment into here before you start to get to the uh, Velcro and the double wide here. And you can put a ton of gear on here without expanding uh, too long on this belt. The stitching is everything you would expect from Blue Alpha Gear. They have done a very nice job on the stitching in here and it is stitched all the heck and gone. I'm telling you, they did not spare any thread on this belt at all. And uh, you've got your double thick webbing all the way around, like I said and then you have your molly webbing in here, but the double thick portion of the belt itself is not only held together by the stitching on the molly. As you can see, you've got multiple lines of stitching going through here that keeps these two pieces of nylon together all the way around the belt to keep it rigid. You know, you want this belt rigid. You don't wanna be able to take and push like this and bend this belt. I mean, I'm pushing with everything I got and I'm just barely starting to be able to, to manipulate the belt from its standard form. Now in a duty belt, that is what you are looking for. You want that thing to be tough and rigid because you don't want it flopping around and moving when you're drawing your gun or pulling magazines out of pouches. You're getting in a fight, you're falling all over, you're moving, shooting, communicating, all those things. Now the buckles from uh, Blue Alpha have always been high quality. 
These Cobra buckles are great, super easy to use and manipulate. Very, very high quality. It's in, you just press back towards the male portion of the buckle and uh, it comes right out, locks in automatically. Good stuff there. They don't, uh, they don't skimp on any of that and um, they haven't skimped on any portion of this belt. You've got just a ton of molly all the way around. I have seen other belts that kind of have molly in portions and then not for another portion. Uh, Blue Alpha went all out, put it all the way around so you can put gear on all throughout the belt. You can put trauma packs on the back. You can put anything you want. Like I said, different style uh, gun holsters you can put on there. Any kind of magazine pouches that works for molly or a standard size belt will fit over this. And uh, like all of Blue Alpha's gear, this thing is uh, made right here in the USA, which is very nice to have a product manufactured in the US. Very high quality belt, and it pairs very well with one of their minimalist EDC belts. So there are two types of this belt that you can go with right here. I chose to go with the one that just has the single loop right here. Now the reason I wanted that is because I find it easier to loop this through and pull real fast and then Velcro it than I do to kind of turn the belt around, pull Velcro. If you just have the regular one, it Velcros all the way around itself. You have to slide that out of the belt loops, pull it off, tighten it, slide it back through. Whereas this I found, it just unvelcros and you Velcro it right over your belt loops and then it mates up with the Velcro on the inside of the main belt. Now these don't come with the Molly belt. You have to order this at the same time or separately, but it's not included. It's a few dollars extra, uh, but again, made in America. It's always something I'm happy and proud to see and buy. So this thing is super high quality too, and this is more of a kind of an EDC minimalist belt that's gonna get its own review as well, but it ties in with this belt and uh, same super high quality. You've got that really nice, thick, double layered nylon there. And you've got that really, really robust stitching inside here to keep that Velcro on. You've got multiple points of stitching in there so that Velcro is not coming off. Um, I do not know, I don't know if this is injection molded plastic or what the belt buckle is here, that minimalist buckle, but it is very sturdy and uh, very thick. I don't see any problems coming out of that. And you just got a ton of adjustment here on the belt. You can see where it loops through and where your Velcro starts and stop. You've got a ton of room in there to adjust this thing. So we'll get back up into the chair, guys, and I'll give you my final thoughts on this Blue Alpha Molly gear setup. There you have it. You can rig this thing any way you want with any Molly pouch you want, any belt traditional loop style holster you want, and it works out just really well. That interior Velcro in conjunction with their inner belt works great. You can use a regular belt and traditional style belt keepers, but it's far more secure with their Velcro underbelt. You've got two different choices of the underbelt, the traditional just Velcro wrap around, or you have their kind of hybrid minimalist belt, which has that little pass through and you can tighten like a traditional belt. I like that version better because I find it just faster to either loosen or tighten and I just put it right over my belt loop and it doesn't interfere with how secure the outer belt is being held on at all. Now, as you can see up on that belt, it was tied in with a Safari Land Low Rise, the Safari Land ALS holster and their QLS system, and then those Kaiwi mag pouches. Those Kaiwi, I think it's Kaiwi, pretty sure it's Kaiwi, whatever. But those things are just awesome because they kind of mold the best of the nylon with the best of the Kydex together. And they are super slick and super quick on the range. Even for me, who's a little bit out of practice right now. Stay safe, stay ready. Get the range time in and I will see you guys on the next one.